America's on sale. I'm talking about real estate. If you haven't bought a property, then I think you should seriously look into buying a property in this market. They say that millionaires are made in this kind of market. You know, and uh, don't listen to what the media is telling you. Basically, this is uh, I've seen many people make a lot of money. It's basically what? Guess what? I'm an audio broker, and whenever I put I pop it on the market, guess what I do? I have multiple offers on this property, on these properties. Okay, we want to talk to you as an investor, not as a first-time home buyer. So okay, so let's talk to you as a, an investor. Okay, I can. Let's say you have fifteen thousand dollars. Just today, came on myself, and some people came to my office and we looked at some properties right here in the Bay Area. These 10 properties were selling for $300,000, and now they're selling for what? For $55,000. Now you have $15,000, just that's all I need $15,000. And we could do some hot money. I don't care about your credit, your credit can be really lousy. Okay, I need your $15,000. That means you only need um, 20% of the after repair value. Okay, I can get some sources. My sources will give you 20% of that whatever you're buying. Guess what's gonna happen? Now you're gonna turn the twenty percent, you know, into whatever. You know what I mean? It'll become sixty percent. You know, let's say your fifteen thousand dollars will become thirty thousand dollars in about forty five days or less. And what's gonna happen? We'll have some crews, people who've spooze up your property, the property that you're buying, and then you're gonna sell it to first time home buyers because uh, you know and how do you how are you able to sell to first time home buyers? Okay, first of all, interest rates are very low extremely low, property prices are very low, and those first time home buyers, they're renting a property somewhere else. Can you tell them that, hey my goodness, how much you pay on your rent? You can move with that, you can now move to this property and you pay less than you pay on your rent. And that property that they're buying is pushed up. Another thing is, guess what? They get $8,000 in federal tax credit. The federal tax credit expires on December 1st. So let's say you bought a property of fifty thousand dollars, and now you split it up. Maybe spend ten thousand dollars, none of your own money, because we're gonna do hard money. Okay, all we need is let's say the property value is one hundred thousand dollars. We gotta do twenty percent of the one hundred thousand dollars. That's all you need. Okay, and whatever money needs to be fixed up to, to be used to fix up the property, 